Hey, what's up, guys? This is STD Crazy, bringing you a little interview. That's right, I got the man himself, psychology owner and founder of Set to Destroy, right here with me right now. I'm going to talk about post UGC coming off Niagara. What's up, man? How'd they do and uh, all that good stuff? What's been going on? Uh, the event went really well. Um, STDX Hydra, which was captained by STDX Moose, and then we had OP, Audacity, and Crazy. Uh, first uh, LAN event here for 2014. It was actually their first LAN event um, for themselves as well for their experience. Um, they had top 50, so they actually had 47th. Um, we actually could have got into that top 30, um, and uh, we we, fa or we played phase black in uh, the winners bracket, second, excuse me, third round, and then we uh, we got three out by phase black because Dito is just a, a LAN god, and uh, and then uh, we we won in the losers bracket and then lost on our second game in the losers bracket. Um, and we went to overtime in the extra map. We lost by one, and it was so close for us to be going into that top 30. Um, the guys had a great experience. It was a really, really um, valiant effort. And uh, unfortunately, we just sh uh, you know came up short by that one inch. But uh, other than that, the, the team had a great experience, and it was, a, it was a great time had by all. Now, since you did bring up the boys from Hydra, I got to apologize real quick. Uh, we did a quick interview before, on the like the night they were headed out to uh, Niagara, and uh, the audio was crap, guys. I'm sorry. Couldn't use it, so we're trying to make it up for a little bit here. We will get you guys in an interview, I promise. Get, you know, So that way the community can meet you guys. Um, real quick, uh, since you were like there at the event, who were your top three players? I didn't get to watch it. I had some uh, ISP issues, but who are your top three players or you know personalities of uh, coming off this uh, LAN experience? Um, so definitely great questions. Uh, top three players, um, I'll be very blunt about it because there has been um, a couple individuals that are strong on content producing that have you know made their, their top five or top ten. Um, and it's it's pretty widely known that um, FaZe Dito uh, just had the most consistent um, gameplay out of UGC. So not only was he dominating on on search and search and destroy, but just very strong player in terms of his relays and support and picks in uh, in domination and also in uh, in blitz. Um, just his class selection, his his methodical strategies, um, and then also just basically his his frags and his stuns um, were just on on point. So really got to give it up to Dito for for being the best player at UGC. A uh, second, I got to give to XGN Stun, which is now Orbit Stun. Uh, I know there's a lot of turmoil right now between um, a lot of the the XGN and Orbit group because now even James that was on XGN is now with Wild. So a lot of restructuring going on there um, when the team did very well coming out of UGC. Um, but Stun, he had a he had a great uh, match there against obviously Complexity, which is now Ev uh, Evil Geniuses. Um, he had that 3v1 um, against Complexity. And then just was a very consistent player. He's also a hype guy as well, so he got the team going um, and, and had kind of this cool man's attitude. And here's a kid that, you know, was really picked up like a month before the event. Um, and then, um, you know, he had like one or 2,000 followers. And then after the, the slaying of complexity, um, his Twitter shot up over 12,000. So got to give it to the kid. He, he handled well under pressure, and he, and he played well, and he's going to reward from that as well. Um, third, you got to give it over to complexity. And it's really a toss-up between – Aches and, and Crimzik, but uh, I, I thought Aches was the better player out of the entire team. Um, I thought he was more consistent overall um, on all maps. I know on their Sunday, um, when they played on Sunday, they, they only went 21-2, and two, um, which anybody would want to do. Um, so it was really hard to pick between all four of them, but I thought um, Aches was the better player throughout the entire event, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, um, or excuse me, Saturday and Sunday, and they played very well, so... Um, other than that, uh, those are my top three. And then just surviving, or surviving, but kind of having a laugh there about the bomb square, the bomb scare, and uh, you know the reported, you know someone's in there with a rifle. Um, that was kind of a unique situation over at U, uh, UGC, and uh, you got to give it up to the UGC and UMG uh, and the MLG guys there as well. Um, everybody handled themselves accordingly, um, and for the Niagara Police and the Fire Department and uh, and everybody. So they, they handled the event very well um, and dealt with those situations. And even though we were outside for about two and a half hours, um, the event really went off without a hitch, and they made up that extra time. So big props to uh, to Jeff Covington and uh, to Brian, um, UMG Profit, and then all the great casters there of Maven and, and Gandhi and, uh, and Golden Boy. Everybody did a great job. It was an awesome event. 
So after every land, there's always changes in orgs. Um, what what changes do you have coming um, after this land event going into the future? Yeah, so we, we've got a couple of big changes coming up here as well. We, we've we actually signed two new competition teams that are going to be attending land events here for 2014. Force Set the Destroy X on top of SDDX Hydra and SDDX uh, Fat Squad. Um, so we've actually added SDDX in Human, um, which is another uh, top AM group. And then we also added um, basically like a, a top AM, a top tier uh, echelon AM, uh, kind of like a low bottom pro, if you will. Um, they've got about 24,000 in pro points and uh, multiple top 20s, multiple top 10s uh, between the group here right now, and that's STDX Nation. Um, so it's some former individuals that were on uh, FUF um, and then also um, also Skyland Gaming as well. Um, so we've got a great team there and uh, and really looking forward. We, we have three teams going out right now. Um, STDX Hydra is not going out to Anaheim. Um, they've actually um, had, uh, they're actually now a team of three looking for an extra player as uh, SDDX OP has been released from the team and he actually bowed out of the team as well um, as he's going to be joining another team. Um, so Hydra is actually going to be scheduled to go to Dallas. So we're going to have three teams going to Anaheim, which is Fat Squad, Any Human, um, and then also SDDX Nation. Um, so from those three teams going, I'm expecting a, a top 40 seed. Um, just from the pro points and the top 50 and the top 60 from the pro points all through those teams just before you even start. Um, so they're going to have a great opportunity here of, of getting, um, you know, great placings to start at Anaheim, um, which should also help them dictate how they're going to be structured throughout, um, you know, winning and, and going through the rounds. So really excited about getting up to Anaheim. And, uh, and then we've also got some, some great guys on our network over at Clever Gaming and Rivalcaster that are going to be up there as well. So I uh, really just look forward to the experience uh of SDX getting out there and representing well. All right, Psychology. Thanks for coming, brother. I appreciate it. And, of course, thanks for watching, guys. We appreciate it a lot. Those views mean a lot to us. And, of course, big shout-out to those sponsors. We got Gamma Gamers. We got Control Freaks. We got About 99 Ninjas. We got Mod Junkies and, of course, Machinima and Tritons. Use that code STD to get your 10% off. We did just recently pick up two more sponsorships. And the discount is a little bit different this time around. The code's the same. Yes, STD. But at In Control Avenger, you get 30% off and... And at Gamer's Edge, you get 20% off using that same code. So uh, get out there, use that code, and use it wisely. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit us up on Twitter so that way you can keep up on all the STD news. And we will see you guys next week.